It seemed like it was just kind of, at least from the part we saw of the scrimmage today, the passing game was not really clicking. You know, it was anything you could notice that was going into that? No, it's really hard for me to notice some things just because we're up there blocking the whole time. Um, you know, we have some guys out right now, and that, that doesn't help. And uh, we got a lot of guys taking some reps. So um, we just got to continue to get in better shape and, and stay focused when we're tired. Is it, is it more frustrating when you have days like this now because, you know, y'all are ready to go win now. You know, you kind of been through some, some tougher times, and you started to turn that corner. So now when you have a day where things aren't clicking as much, does it get even more frustrating? Yeah, it's a little frustrating just because, you know, we want to be the best. And uh, whenever things aren't clicking, then, you know, you, you just have to kind of keep the guys mentally um, just continue to keep going. You know, you can't let them get down on themselves. And, uh, you know, some of the younger guys tend to do that. But, um, you know, as a leader of the offense, you got to continue to talk to them and just say, hey, you know, you have days like this sometimes. And, and you just got to come tomorrow and work. Do you feel like this, what y'all up front have gotten out of the spring overall? It looks like there's maybe a little bit more continuity there, yeah. a little bit more of, of a chemistry building there. Yeah, I think we've gotten a lot better. And, uh, you know, it's it's just a whole different different world whenever you finally get some playing experience under your belt, you know. Um, things start slowing down a little bit for you, and you can start focusing on technique and assignments and things like that a little bit better. And it's not all about just really surviving. I mean, uh, now we're starting to be a little bit more physical um, and, and really just coming together and starting to be a pretty good align. How, how much of a change is that from last spring when you guys maybe hadn't played a whole lot? And, and and some of those things you talked about surviving. How much of it was last spring was just trying to do survive? Uh, I mean, there was a little bit of it, and uh, and I guess I shouldn't have said survive. Um, it was more kind of working together. I mean, as, as an O-line, you really have to work together and uh, know, know what each other does, you know, on every play. And, um, you know, just forming that bond, it, I mean, it takes a while. It really does, but now we're starting to, starting to really get it. I guess Jack comes in as a freshman, you know, he should still be in high school. Does anything impress you about him? And I guess maybe where does he kind of, he's still a typical freshman in some ways, too? Uh, no, I mean, I, I wouldn't say Jack or Chance, either one of them are, uh, well, I mean, I, I don't really know what a typical freshman is. I guess what you, what you knew were a freshman. What you oh, yeah, I mean, that, I mean, they just come to work every day, and, and that's what you want from them, you know. Um, yeah, they're going to mess up, but uh, that's expected. I mean, they're still supposed to be in high school, you know. Uh, and, um, but I mean, yeah, they, they just come to work every day, really try to be physical and uh, finish off plays. So that's good. What's been different about Kendrick for the spring? It looks like he's he physically, he yeah. just kind of looks like a, a different guy. He looks like he's playing a little different. Yeah, he is. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's something that he did in the off season, you know, that's, um, that's, that's something that he made up in his mind that said, hey, you know, I'm going to change my body and, and come out and uh, really help out the line this year. And, and I have to give all the credit to him. I mean, that's, that's his whole, whole new mindset, and he's really changing. So, How big is that for you all at the tackle spot, too? Because you know that yeah. you've known for a few years now, you all have had more guards and centers than right. kind of true tackle bodies. And he looks like he's kind of got one. How, yeah. how big would that be for him to start stepping up at that spot? That'd be huge. Um, like you said, you know, we have a lot of guards and centers, and we're really starting to work on the tackles a lot more and just I mean we need more competition there because competition always improves your you know the guys in front of him and and the guys behind him I mean competition elevates everybody and uh, just having him being able to step in at really right and left I mean that that helps a ton so thanks man before spring practice even started, he was, I mean, he was the new staff, or what did he kind of do to kind of develop relationships with y'all to kind of get to know y'all better just before you had to start working with you on the field? Just being around us all the time, really. Um, anytime we had, you know, dinner or lunch, he was always around just really getting to know us. And um, it was mandatory for us to come up and meet with him, you know, and uh, he would ask us questions, just kind of find out about our you know how we grew up and things like that and kind of get to know us on a little bit of a personal level and uh, you know because he did that then we're able to you know build that trust with him and, and take take his coaching even a little bit more thank you how's the team spirit for now